So when I use the term low level, you know, I didn't, I don't believe that these are low level crimes. This is what the criminal justice world has labeled these low level crimes. And what they're talking about is property crimes, generally speaking. But when I talk about charging all levels of crime, I'm talking about burglary. Someone comes into your home, right? Let's say you're at home sleeping, two o'clock in the morning, your, your security cameras pick this up and your family, your child, your wife, your husband, whatever it is, you guys are sleeping, right? At two o'clock in the morning. Someone comes in uninvited, unauthorized, illegally there, and leans over you or your loved one and is in arm's length reach of you or your loved one, doesn't hurt you, you know, so there's no physical harm, but steals a laptop or steals an iPad or steals your cell phone, burglarizes your home, and we can prove that beyond a reasonable doubt. And this person leaves. Should that person be prosecuted? Absolutely. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I have taken this position for two reasons. Number one, prison saves lives. And, you know, everyone has their own opinion about prison, but I'm from the streets. I grew up on the streets. I've lived in drug houses. I've lived in places people would be appalled about, you know. My friends were drug addicts, criminals. That's, that's what that's the life you live when you live on the street. You, you can't avoid it. You don't get to pick and choose who you get to hang out with. I mean, that's your life, right? So now, you know, 40 years later, my friends are recovered, treated, and owners of their own companies. And they've gone to prison and they've gone to treatment. And the reason why we are all successful, or well, they are successful, is prison saves lives. They went to prison, they had to choose between treatment and prison, and they chose treatment. And now they're all very successful. You know, and I will say, they're the harshest on crime. These are the people that are very law and order, very unforgiving of people that continue to commit crime over and over, very unforgiving about the people that go out and violate their probation every single time. My friends say, throw them in prison. Mm -hmm. That's what they should do. You can't give somebody 20 or 30 chances on hope probation. You got to put them in prison. So that's the first reason why I have taken this very hard stance, hard line. I, I, I will not come off of this, okay? Mm -hmm. The second reason is we have seen an increase in violent crime. And I know my opponent disagrees with me, but I have talked with Stolen Stuff Hawaii, Michael Kitchens, I have looked at the posts, and just because the police are not enforcing, you and I know the police are not enforcing even violent crimes, assault, for example, you and I have a common client that we know was released for assault, doesn't mean crime is down. All it means is it's not being enforced. It doesn't mean crime is down. We still have victims. So the problem is, is do you know what happens when a criminal gets away with a low-level crime like the one I just described and doesn't get charged and doesn't get put forward through the justice system. Run it back, Hanaho. Hanaho. Why not? Hanaho. Right. They keep doing it, right? Because yeah. why for stop, right? They, they don't need to. No one's told them they have to. So let's say someone burglarizes a home or steals a car for the 21st time, right? They've gotten away with it, been arrested, released, arrested, released, never charged. Now they say, you know, the victim tries to stop the person and says, whoa, wait a minute, this is my car. You can't steal my car. You know what that person's going to do? Use violence, right? They're going to use their fists, a baseball bat, a golf club, a knife, whatever they possibly can. And now we're looking at homicide, mm -hmm. murder, manslaughter, or some type of assault because this person has gotten away with it for so long that they're emboldened by the criminal justice system. Mm -hmm. They're brave, they're brazen, and now they're extremely violent. And this is exactly why we've seen this recent uptick in violent crimes, because mm -hmm. the current administration has, for the past 10 years, implemented very poor charging policies. 
So people call it the broken windows theory. I, you know, I call it the UCPV theory, unauthorized control of a propelled vehicle. And those are the crimes that I'm talking about. 